This is Ron Ceballas. My first day of the hike, as you can see, there's a Camino sign and I'm ready to get started. So it's a nice, wonderful day here. And 790 kilometers from my final destination, which is Santiago de Compostela. It's the first long hike I've ever done. And as you can see, the conditions are ideal. We'll see how it goes. Way in the background there is Pamplona and I'm on a small little stretch here just making the mountains up to those windmills and beyond to Puente de la Reina and it's been a beautiful day easy hike so far and beautiful scenery It went from foggy to sunny. So getting your clothes right isn't always that easy. But right now I'm just wearing a t-shirt and a jacket and it's about 10 degrees out. Choosing your clothes is important. And what we're seeing here is the old Via Appia, the old Roman road going all the way to Santiago. I'm off to a very early start. I'm in Estella. It's my fourth stop along the way. And it's supposed to be a pretty long day, like 28 kilometers or something. That's why I got an early start. But it's a beautiful town, as you can see here. So it's day six today, and I'm on my longest stretch so far. It's gonna be 28 kilometers from Arcos, in the back of me, to Logroño, up ahead of me. So you can never get lost, because you always have arrow after arrow. It tells you that you're on the right route.
I'm in what is called La Rioja. This is where some of the best Spanish wines come from. But it's beautiful countryside, beautiful morning, a bit cloudy, and it's about 10 degrees out. On roads like this, it's easy, easy walking, so you can make up quite some speed, especially seeing right now it's going downhill. towns on this route you can never get lost because you always have those little markers as you see there that little marker tells you that you're on the right route
It's day 13 of my walk, and I'm halfway into my walk. And right now this is Tordijos, a nice little town, and I'm going to Hornillos, which is another 10 kilometers down the road. I've made 10, another 10 or 11 to go. And it's been a strange day. Even though yesterday wasn't a very strenuous day, for some reason I ended up with some major pains. The pains are shifting from my knees to my ankles to my chest area, but hopefully things will get better. I just finished off my 20 kilometer hike here. It took about just over five hours because it was a bit down on my legs today. But I'm in this beautiful little town here of Castro Jerez, which is actually, I just learned, a World Heritage Site, which means that it's registered and it's going to stay like this for a long time. It's a beautiful town on a little hill and then above us above the hill as you saw before is the castle and i might hike up there if i can find my legs again but otherwise just a walk around this beautiful town is amazing as every single corner is amazingly beautiful a.m. The sun has just risen and this is the Camino I'm taking today out of Castro Jerez. This is going over those mountains in the back there and it's a bit around 25 kilometers so it should be six hours with my slow legs today. Um, if they don't give out I've been having problems with my shins but otherwise everything's been good. But it's a beautiful stunning ice cold morning and the plains are coming up and then after that hill there um, it's all flat again, so it should be a great walk, but Castro Jerez was fantastic and I really enjoyed it. So I'm on the final stretch of my walk here today of 24 kilometers so, and I'm feeling really strong because Castor Jerez to here was pretty flat terrain except for the first big jump up like a few hundred meters for a mile or two and now walking next to a canal I'm only a few kilometers from my final stop today and I'm looking forward to it. Today is day 15. It started out as a cold, foggy day. I just left from this and that's where I'm going to, Carion de los Condes.
I'm excited because today is the halfway point between the Rensenlayas and Santiago. To tell you the truth, I never thought I'd make it this far because I have two bad knees and I'm not that fit and I'm not that into walking. It's nice to walk early in the morning because that way you get into wherever you're going early. It's right now 10 o'clock and I've walked over 12 kilometers. I'm feeling pretty good. any city or any town, any village, you still always have the little arrow guiding you. And there will be one every few hundred feet or so. So they're very, very uh, good guides that you're on the right track, not on the wrong track. And once again, there's an arrow pointing me where I need to go. So it's a good Camino. Okay, I finally made it out of the whole Leon urban area and in front of me, it's finally open Camino. It's still on the road, but it should bend off a bit. So I'm really looking forward to this next stretch, even though it's drizzling. So the good days, the bad days on the Camino. I don't know if this is a good day or bad day. It's just a rainy, wet day, and walking next to the main highway isn't that much fun. But you got a poncho and a jacket underneath, and a nice thing to keep your head warm. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, it looks like I'm flying a lot because it's really windy. But all in all, it's a good day still because I'm on the Camino. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and there's nobody around. That's one thing that's been fascinating me. Wherever I go, there's nobody around. And I'm crossing the bridge into town called Hospital do Rodrigo. And then on the side here, there's a church with some stalks on top. And I'm not sure if it's normal for them to be around this late in their season, but it's pretty cool. It's a beautiful day, the sun is rising in the back, and there's nobody around.
I'm just walking out of Ponte Ferrada, where I got to yesterday after massive rains and mud and ugly, ugly downhill stretches that were really treacherous. And a few people took taxis and said, I marched on and I eventually made it to Ponte Ferrada really late, around six o'clock after around 10 hours of walking. When it rains like that, nothing will help, even though my boots have been pretty great, but once the leather gets all wet, nothing helps. So today it's a 28 kilometer walk and I wish the weather would get better. And Villa Franca is this a beautiful town right on the river here and it's going to be quite a challenging to walk today even though it finally stopped raining I'm really happy about that but it's supposed to be snowing up in Osibiro where I'm going to I'm about 190 something kilometers from Santiago it's going to be a great walk um, it's pretty flat for 25 kilometers and it goes steep uphill into the snow But it's been a wonderful day, wonderful walk. Sunset's turning out to be nice. So it's about 5.30 now, and I've been on the road since eight something this morning. Um, the last five kilometers have been pretty grueling going uphill after 25 on up and downhill. But I'm about there in Osibiro. And finally, we've reached the area where it snowed last night. So we went from rain yesterday to a sunny day to snow. That's where it goes on the Camino. So you have to be prepared, clothes-wise, boot-wise, everything. I'm just leaving Osibiro. It's around 8 a.m and it's snowy and icy so hopefully it won't be too much of a bad walk today but we'll see what it's it holds itself it's only 20 kilometers today mostly downhill so hopefully it will go very well we'll see It's day 26 of my walk to Santiago and I'm on the final stretch. There's only six days including today left and today I am heading from Three Castillos towards Sadia and Sadia is the last point where you can actually get your credential uh, certified if you start at that point. It's 113 kilometers left from there to Santiago. I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful day because this is a beautiful countryside here in Galicia.
Just leaving Saria. Saria is one of the starting points where you can start. It's the last 113 kilometers towards Santiago. And if you start in Saudi, you can still get your credentials sealed that you have walked the Camino. So it's a very important point on the Camino to get started if you don't want to walk the whole way from Rosen Valles. It's not the prettiest town, but it's a good starting point anyway, right? So I'm looking forward to today's walk. Hopefully it will be less windy and less wet than yesterday. I'll let you know how it goes. Yesterday there were quite a few places where you had to walk on walls like these here to get by the water and it wasn't easy with your backpack on shifting around and stuff but it's really been quite treacherous at some points and you get wet feet and you get fully wet so it really doesn't matter at the end of the day but thankfully it's not too cold but it's been a good hike it's going a bit uphill and downhill today so it shouldn't be all too bad. Very few hikers on the road because of the bad weather and because we're close to Christmas. It started out kind of rough today because first I got on track and then it started to rain like crazy. You can still see the rain clouds in the background. But today is 25 kilometers windy like it was yesterday. But hopefully it will rain a bit less, but so far it hasn't been the case. I've walked over 750 kilometers, about 40 kilometers left till Santiago. And today is a short walk from Azusa, which is behind me towards, I forget what the next stop is, but that's what happens along the way. You always forget where you just were or where you're going to. But it's only around uh, 20 something kilometers and hopefully the weather will hold and it won't rain down like it did yesterday because yesterday it just came pouring down and it was crazy. I have been walking for 31 days now. I'm only about 17 kilometers away from Santiago, the final destination of this leg of the walk. I just left Pedruso. This is the forest just outside of Pedruso. Next is the Santiago airport and then is Santiago. Bit of a drizzle, but there's not supposed to be any rain, even though there's still some muck and water on the road. But it's been a good walk so far. 
and I look forward to the rest of it. Okay, so I'm here in Santiago and today I've got a great walk because I'm carrying on my walk today. I'm heading towards Finisterre, so I'm leaving kind of early and it's going to be a nice walk because the weather finally is changing. It's beautiful. This walk out of Santiago is really beautiful. I just got out of the city, beautiful streets, and now I'm finally back on the way. It's like 89 kilometers to Finisterre, 86 to Muncia. But I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go, but I know that I'm going to see the ocean. But the weather is absolutely perfect for walking. It's not too hot, not too cold. I left Altos de Pena, which is about 28 kilometers from Santiago, and I'm heading towards a place called Hospital, and that's about 30 kilometers. Uh, so far, it's been a wonderful walk, mostly next to the road, which isn't that nice, but there's no, very little traffic, so it's good because it's also Saturday. And hopefully, it's going to be a easy walk, and I can make it there. Then I can make it to Finisterre in three days. Uh, 30 kilometers each day because it's like 89 kilometers in total but so far it's been good there are very few albergues that are open right now so that's the only problem my only worry is to find an albergue but that's open Buenas, Hola. perdona. Hola. I left a place called Hospital today. It's day 34 of my walk or day three of the walk to from Santiago to Finisterre. And once again, as you can see behind me, it's just a stunning day. If you look in the background there, you'll see the windmills, the power windmills. And it's one of the features along the Camino you'll see is windmills everywhere. And the one thing you'll notice when you're walking is that you're always walking towards the windmill. And according to this sign here, it's only 28 kilometers to go.
finally we're getting to the sea. So I went from mountains, from the Pyrenees, all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. It's been a long but great Camino. I'm here at the end of the earth, Finisterre, 850 kilometers from Brosson Valles to this point. 34 days walking, pretty much non-stop except for a little pause here and there, but it's been, it's been a great journey and I'm really enjoying this amazing view. Buen camino. Buen camino. Buen camino. Buen camino. Buen camino. Buen camino. Buen camino.